we really desperately need to pull our resources together. I'm not under illusion we have a, our, to say the least, fair share of differences, but if we want to have the region fully integrated, we need to also join our forces in advocating for the region to get into the European Union, to lobby together. I heard uh, the governor of Lower Austria refer to the need to cut red tape and not to have a, you know, a one-in, one-out approach when it comes to legislation. Sometimes many people in the Western Balkans feel like there's a one-in, one-out principle in some political circles when it comes to the EU enlargement. And of course this affects the public opinions and this in return dictates how, uh, how the enlargement process and how the reforms goes. When it comes to Serbia, by 2027 we plan to complete all the major legislative economic and political reforms required for our country to join the European Union. Our priorities are very cl clearly laid out and uh, we want to retain and to help retaining stability in our region. This can only be done in cooperation with Brussels and with other parties in the region. We want to focus on maintaining Belgrade, my capital, as an autonomous decision-making process, but aligning as much as possible until we are fully a member of the European Union with common foreign and security policy. And there, I'm sorry I have to say, uh, with all the respect that I have for and the beautiful accomplishments that people of Puerto Rico have accomplished over the past century as an territory within the United States, I don't see for our region, for our countries, an equivalent to the status of Puerto Rico within the European Union as the end game. This means that we want full rights, we want full membership as the end game, and nothing less than that. There will be no compromise on this. I don't want to pretend like everything is in order still politically in our region because we have outstanding issues from the 1990s, none of which my generation is culpable for, but we are suffering the consequences of these issues. And we will require some heavy weight lifting to resolve these issues. Therefore, we need the attention of top management, top levels of the political class in Europe and their full commitment in order to help us to resolve these issues because otherwise we won't be able to do it ourselves. And it also has to be done in a fair and just way so as not to leave any of the parties involved frustrated, to leave us equally satisfied and dissatisfied. And to sum up, uh, last week I was in Burgenstock uh, where I heard many interesting speeches, some were more constructive, some less. But I heard uh, the Kenyan president quote uh, actually an American general, Norman Schwarzkopf, who said something along the lines that um, spending each liter of sweat saves dozens of liters on, on negotiating and on making peace, saves dozens of liters of blood. And I know this sounds harsh, but I just want to let everyone know that we need top-level attention and that we need a lot of effort to resolve these political issues. By 2027, we will be in a far better place economically. I represent a country that has more than doubled the size of its GDP in less than a decade, and we are ready to connect and to share uh, our market with all the other partners in the region.